So here's a question for you. Have you gotten the updated COVID vaccine yet? We know about 7 million Americans were able to find it after a pretty rough rollout in the last month. But many still are not sure whether they should get it. To help you decide, our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins has some questions you should ask yourself. Most in the medical field encourage the COVID vaccine, but your decision may rely on a few other factors, such as a recent infection, your social circle, and your own health. How high is your own personal risk? Is your immune system weaker due to age, pregnancy, a health condition such as diabetes or heart disease? Are you taking medications that make you immunocompromised, such as organ transplant drugs or medicine for autoimmune conditions? If the answer is yes, get the vaccine. Who's at risk in your social circle? Do you care for aging parents or a sick relative? Even the youngest among us are vulnerable. So particularly infants are unprotected. So children under six months need us to protect around them so that they don't get sick. Planning for future events in the next couple of months, such as a wedding or vacation, the vaccine gives about three months of protection, but it takes a couple weeks to build immunity. So plan ahead. If you've recently had COVID, you also have about a three month window of protection. If it hit you pretty hard, you might want to boot considering cold and flu season hangs around through April. There are now three vaccines available, the Pfizer and Moderna mRNA versions, and the protein-based Novavax shot is available for those 12 and up. If you're young, healthy, and not a risk to others, you may consider skipping it, but remember this. COVID still causes more hospitalizations and deaths than the other respiratory illnesses that circulate. So are the updated versions perfect? Of course not, but studies show they do help your immune system recognize even the newer variants and help you fight off a severe infection. We know COVID flu and RSV cases are on the rise. What we don't know is what kind of season we're going to be dealing with yet. So that's something to take in consideration too. As we say here, stay tuned for that. Yeah. All right, Monica Robbins joining us here in the studio. As always, thanks. Sure.